Hey YouTube, XBMC Nut here again with a uh, an update to the Hess IO video. Um, I wanted to show you how to add a custom add-on to Hess IO, and because one of the um, I was poking around on the forum, the um, Home Assistant forum, and found a uh, GitHub add-on for Hess IO that allows you to seamlessly and easily add Homebridge support as I have an iPad in the house um, I thought this would be advantageous and allow me to try it uh, quite easily so I'll show you how to go and do that um, what I'm going to do is here is the um, uh, github page for the particular add-on uh, that has Homebridge our uh, Homebridge add-on for HASIO so basically all you do is copy that there and come back into home assistant and go to our shopping cart and we're going to pop that into as an add-on repository and save and once that is stored we can see that we've got homebridge home kit support so i'm just going to click install and i'll probably pause the video and come back to that oh no i didn't need to do that it's done already so all I'm going to do so all we need to do is we can actually configure additional plugins here and we can just go start now because I've previously downloaded that uh, done this before I uninstalled it before the video just to show you how it worked um, I think all the files were still on my Raspberry Pi so that's maybe why it's happened so quickly so it may take a minute or two but um, what will happen we'll just refresh the logs here and you can see that Homebridge is running on port 51826 now what you'll need to do is you'll need we'll just refresh that again to see there we go so what it's done is that it's now connected to Home Assistant so the nice thing about the Homebridge add-on for HASIO is the Home Assistant integration for Homebridge uh, is actually already uh, enabled so there's nothing you need to do so all of your Home Assistant uh, devices just automatically appear um, so on iOS all you do is go to the, um, the Home app and add Home Assistant and it will ask you for a key now if you navigate into uh, using Samba into your device go into the config folder you'll see you've now got a Homebridge folder and you can poke around on the internet and find the pin code for that um, but it's also inside your config.json so if you have a look at it here here's the pin 031-45-154 that is on the Homebridge uh, installation page on GitHub um, that default pin so you can actually change that in the config if you want to but that's the default pin so um, yeah on iOS now all you need to do is just go and uh, add a device tell it that it's home assistant pop the pin in and bang um, it's not very pretty um, the icons aren't very nice but if I go back to my states I did find here that I can turn the um, uh, the fan control on and off now there is a way to uh, somewhere uh, configure what devices are actually presented to Homebridge because I actually I don't want all of these media devices there and I can't remember whether you do that in Homebridge or Home Assistant Home Assistant I think but I'll look into that and do a video on that so that is how you come down you can see that we've got Homebridge um, running in there that is how you can quickly and easily uh, add homebridge to home assistant using hasio man that's a lot of h's thanks for watching and um see you in the next video